Josh Bryan. Here in South Lake, Texas is my house. Today we're featuring some garage training. We have the Manchild, a legendary cooler. So if you notice the movie Roadhouse, you can check it out. You'll learn more about the profession. Coolers is pop bouncer. Well, anyways, today what we did is some garage training, some gas station ready type of training. <laughs> Well, anyways, today what we did is some garage training, some gas station ready type of training. So what the, the training session consisted of is, we started off with belt squats, you know, about an RP7 type of weight, meaning on the last set, you know, we're gonna hit three to five rep, more reps, no problem. And what we did there, go five, go five reps, I go, he goes three, and then um, we go back and forth like that. So we're just, we're not going, we don't have to hit a certain amount of sets, he goes, I go, only rest time is change out of the belt. We do that you know, for five minutes, good warm up there. So there we go, just finished, I walked off it. He does a set, I do a set back and forth, as many as possible. Five minutes, we've got something like eight right there. Not trying to like, you know, make it a complete ball buster. Sort of activation and warm up, but we're progressively adding to it. So, you know, for that like RP level of seven, it's gonna continually stay there as we get stronger and add more weight to it. From there, um, one of the yoke. So with the yoke, we go forward and then we go backwards in that space right there. So it's about, you know, I'd say like 25 feet each way or so forward. And it makes it a lot harder when you have to switch direction and go backwards. So not wearing any kind of, so you go to the yoke, you go front, you go back, you know, hard we transition those different directions to go backward. Not wearing any belt, any straps, something like that. Not because we're trying to take a stand like that. You know, obviously if you're getting ready for a strongman contest or something like that, I would use that in here, but I'm trying to get this workout done as fit as quick as possible. It's definitely conditional when we're doing the only rest there is changing, you know, changing weights and that type of thing. So from there, did four trips on that. Co-authors a number of books on mindset. This place is uh, creating that great environment. So why is this place all red? Because it encourages aggression and violence something we want to bring to training. There you go. Here you go. From there we went to the um, wheelbarrow. We had six plates on that. So we, he goes 20 seconds, I go 20 seconds. Or 20 seconds, we go back and forth. Again, so it's not like 20 seconds, 20 seconds because you have to switch people and all that, but I mean, there's no like stopping talking. It's like he gets set, I get set. As soon as you pick the, as soon as you pick it up, the other person starts the clock. You go for 20 seconds, put it down, go back and forth. So we go to the end of the street. So we figured I, I did in my truck. I want to see how far that was, and we are not sure. We know it's further than 0.4 miles, and we know it was less than 0.5 miles. So it's somewhere between four tenths of a mile and half a mile. And um, I couldn't tell you exactly what in between there. Ten. There you go. 13 seconds. Last one of the day here. This is when you're there at the dive bar. The Don Hill cover band gets done playing. The big kahuna stops up and it's on. Let's go. Come on. After that, we came back. We hit um, the backward med ball throws. Okay, so with the backward med ball throws, that's a great way to build explosive power, triple extension power, and we're doing that under fatigue and duress. So we can do that over and over and over again, and it's, the distance is not decreasing. So, you know, get great condition there with that strength and, uh, this, you know, that explosive strength and endurance right there. And um, what we want to do is want to get this as long as you can, get that triple extension, ankles, knees, and hips. And what I had done, we just, did this for the first time, like in years, um, last week, and um, yeah. I, I didn't. I almost thought there was something wrong because my abdominals, you know, they were so sore afterwards. The rest of that day, they're like cramping and stuff. I felt like um, 
I don't know what I felt like. It felt like something. You felt it for like the last three days. Or yeah. Well, like that, that day it was crazy. I mean, I, I didn't know what was going on. Then I remember what I did, and then finally felt a little relief after that. But anyways, um, from there I went on the sledgehammer with the 25 pound sledgehammer um, from Elite FTS, and that, my friends, was a wrap of the workout. So, so interesting story, sort of about training like that. So when we moved out here, um, we were, you know, we were looking around. Um, and we had some of our stuff in, in pods. So um, I had to go to Japan. Um, we went there with Fred Hatfield. We did a bunch of seminars there. And like basically two days after I got back, we we're gonna move here. And then the day after we were set to move and close on the house, we had to, I had a power off to meet. So we literally had to get all this done in one day. So I hired these movers, the professional movers, and um, going, you know, it's just across town, like a 20 mile trip each way. So, um, you know, I thought this would be taken care of. I had like, like some computer work I'd do that day. I could just randomly go out and check on things and have a nice day. And then they got to the weights and these cats weren't happy. I mean, they were like slow as molasses, saying they were tired, need breaks. I, so I just finally took over. They couldn't believe it. They thought, you know, I don't know what they thought. They thought it was like something they'd never seen before. I got on that truck. I loaded every single one of those weights in that garage by myself. I put them on wheelbarrows, bring them down, got the bench press down somehow myself. And the point being, this isn't here to brag, it's the point being, these guys do it for a living and they could not hang with me when it came to professional moving because this is how I train.